Good day, everyone. Today, we're going to discuss the Information Literacy Week 3. I'm your instructor, Mr. Michael L. Greta. So now, let's have the most essential learning competencies. Number one, describe how communication is affected by media and information. Number two, identifies the similarities and differences of media literacy, information literacy, and technology literacy. Next is editorialize the value of being a media and information literate individual. And number four, identifies characteristics or describes a responsible use and competent producers of media and information. Now let's have the do you or do you know this question. There are many ways you can understand the evolution of media better. So first, uh, allow me to ask you these questions. Do you use email or other communication tools? I presume you do because me also, I use that uh, communication tools in order for me to catch up and connect with different uh, personalities and uh, person that I need to contact with or communicate with. Do you have a Messenger Facebook account? Well, uh, for all we know, we used to do, uh, we used to have that Messenger on Facebook in order for us to be updated uh, in different um, information, right? Uh, whether it is for a relationship, for uh, for the family, or for the business, etc. Do you know how to get news directions, movies, and other when you need it? Uh, perhaps uh, some of you will know it, but some uh, may not. Well, anyway, we can uh, catch up with that. How can you demonstrate the responsible use ethics and safety issues in information media? Well, uh, I hope that you are responsible in using the media and information in order for you to be safe and on the other person as well. Now let's have the information literacy. So what is information literacy? This is came from the Latin word informare, which means formation of the mind or teaching. So meaning to say we are preparing or we are cultivating our mind in order for us to gain ideas and information or the what we so-called knowledge. So according to that uh, GIF photo, information is power. So what is information literacy? For your information, it is the abilities that enable a person to recognize when information is needed and have the ability to locate, evaluate, and use effectively the needed information that is according to American Library Association. So it's, uh, it's up for you. How will you uh, recognize the information, whether it is factual or uh, not, no? whether it is necessary or not, okay? or unnecessary? So you have to be uh, critically or you have to uh, critic and analyze those information that you gather. Okay? So how about knowledge? Knowledge is a collection of information gathered through individual in shared experiences and education. When you gain knowledge and access the certain types of information, it gives you the power to influence others. Okay? Just like the other person that, uh, just like your professor, no? Uh, <coughs> having the knowledge to uh, discuss this kind of topics to you, uh, you, I deliver the information and you gather the information uh, because of me. Okay? Or otherwise, you can use the, uh, what you so-called, internet okay next the information literacy curriculum includes what are those tool literacy the ability to use print and electronic resources including software resources or resource literacy the ability to understand the form format location and access methods of information resources so meaning to say uh all of the resources that you gathered or all the resources that uh, it is possible in your uh, place, you have to maximize those things in order for you to access or to gather information. Okay? Next, social structural literacy. Knowledge of how information is social situated and produced. It includes understanding the scholarly publishing process. 
So next, research literacy, the ability to understand and use information technology tools to carry out research, including discipline-related software. Okay, so you have to uh, be literate when it comes to information as well. Uh, you will understand how will you deal with the research paper that you have. No? Once you research uh, information in different sites or websites in the World Wide Web or the Internet, uh, you will able to uh, get the proper or necessary information that you wanted to using the different disciplines in our software. Next, the publishing literacy, the ability to produce a text or multimedia report on the research or the result of your research. Now let's have the difference between data and information. Data are the characteristic on information, usually numerical, that are collected through observation in a more technical sense. That is the set of values or qualitative or quantitative variables about one or more person or object. Like, let's say, for example, the result of your exam. So let's say some of you got the 85, 86, no, uh, 50, 45. No? That is uh, the data. No? That is the example of data. How about the information? A broad term that can cover data, knowledge, or derived from study, experience, or instructions, signals, or symbols. In the media, in the media world, information is often used to describe knowledge of specific events or situation that has been gathered or received by communication. Okay, for example, uh, the UMS, the ABM, and the GAS students are doing their uh, examination as of this moment. So we will see later what uh, will be the result of their examination. So that is uh, one of the information. Huh? Okay. So now let's have the elements of information literate person. So you should have this one in order for you to become a literate uh, person when it comes to uh, gathering or absorbing information. First, you have to identify the information that you are uh, receiving, whether it is true or not. It is evident or uh, it is just a bluff, no? Or what we so-called a lie, no? Then find you have to find the uh, evidences of it, no? Or the center of that information and evaluate. After you find this information who, and where this came from, you have to evaluate the information that you uh, receive. Then after you evaluate the information, somehow. Uh, the positive might apply on your understanding and the negative will be uh, disregard. Okay? Then after that, you have to acknowledge the uh, what you so-called center of that information in order to, for you to become a literate person when it comes to gaining information. So now, let's have the ethics on how to, uh, how ethical you should be uh, in receiving or gaining information through different uh, media. No? Ethics, these are the rules that tells us whether an action is right or wrong. Just like what we have last meeting, no? uh, there are some uh, rules that might affect depending on the area or the place that you, uh, that you live in. Let's say, for example, uh, uh, in us, uh, it is formal uh, to say that in a different person when you cross line, no? uh, when you meet with each other to say good morning, uh, hi, hello. But in some uh, countries, uh, when they meet with each other, they hug, they kiss. No? So in us, they violate uh, the rules. No? Because that is, uh, no, that is... Uh, uh, what is so-called uh, familiar with us, no? We are not familiar in you. Uh, we are not used to it, I should say. We are not used to it. Okay. So next is plagiarism. 
using someone else's work as your own without giving them proper credit. So that is plagiarism. So what you should do, okay? You have to citing information. This is done when you are mentioned or give credit to the source in your text. So in order for you to avoid plagiarism, you have to cite the uh, writers or the owner of that uh, text or information that you use to your research or to your study. Okay? Let's say, according to blah, 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 then write the statement. And you should paraphrase it. Okay? Then, legal consequences. Original, tangible materials with a known creator is all covered with copyright law. So, once you copy that information without uh, informing the writer or the owner of that idea, you can be sued because there is a uh, legal consequences with that. Okay? The fair use policy. So, allows non-profit educational institutions and libraries to use someone else's original and copyright copyrighted work within specific rules and guidelines. So, there are some uh, books that you can use and you can uh, get their information. But still, you have to cite properly the owner of that information. Okay? Then, always remember... There are simple ways to avoid plagiarism. You have to submit your original work, enclose the text in quotation marks, practice paraphrasing, put annotated bibliographies in a journal or any notes, be familiar with the reference style manual and consult, or get help from your professor, writing center, or the library. <coughs> so here is your reflections. And I know that you have this in your uh, module, no? So, answer this one, no? Then also, you have here the activity one. So, uh, I changed the activity, no? In your uh, module. So, don't follow the activity in your module. Uh, just do this, no? Interview, video recording. Using your smartphone or Android phones or Android cell phone, record an interview with your parents or guardians on how they gather information during their time without internet. So these are the guide questions. Where do you gather information to answer your assignment when you are studying? Do you remember the name of your school? Do you read newspaper and why? Which is more reliable to get information? In television and news, paper, or in internet? How old are you when you use Android phones? So that are the things that, uh, th those are the guide questions that you uh, can answer, uh, that you can ask for to your parents or guardians or uh, different person that you know that you want to, do want to interview. Okay? So thank you very much and God bless. Take care.